Trash, well, trash. The aluminum and stuff is all up in these fields because this house has been occupied up to about 10 years. Ago. You guys been cleared to be on the road? Man, this is uh, we've got a great day today. Um, Cliff has invited us down uh, with Kurt, Dirty Randy, Jamie. And uh, we are going to have a great day. We've got a colonial pit to dig. We've got relics to find. I can't wait. Randy is so unbelievably dirty. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Here, let's uh, let's get right to it. What you got? Shoe buckle. Is that what it is? Yeah, nice, man. It didn't come up like a brass signal, man. I think it is. It almost looks pewter to me. It's a nice well, early fairly one. Fairly low numbers. Nice man. Yeah, first good signal. Yeah, heck yeah. All right, I got my first good signal. And I think I have me a piece of a shoe buckle frame. Um, I don't know. There's got to be a silver in here though. Yes, that's an early, early buckle right there. That should be date to like the 60, late 1600s, early 1700s. So that's nice. Yeah, Bubba. Oh, pretty big. Too. That's, That's awesome. like um, early spectacle yeah, style. So, yeah, awesome. All right, I'm gonna try to keep the wind noise to a minimum as possible. But look at that. There is a frame of a buckle, and I have a pretty high suspicion that nope. Yep. That is. That's the other side, how about that? That is super cool. So, excited about that. Someone's coming over. Got I got something. And it was like almost sitting on top of the ground. Am I allowed to gaze into your hole? Absolutely. It's like looking into another person, man's soul. That's what I heard. <laughs> uh, so, it was a really high tone. And you can see it down there. What do you think it is? You got a really high tone? Right there? Yeah. No! No! I don't... No! I don't know. It's like half dime size, bro. Don't be a bazinga. Don't be a bazinga. It's a little silver coin. No, it's not a silver ah. coin. <laughs> it got me. Is that Tom back, buddy? It's Tom back. Give you a high tent? Oh, you're using the dash, everything really high. Ever <laughs> no offense on the dash. Pop it on out. I ain't popping it. Dog. All right. I'm not scared. That honestly could be a coin. I think it's a coin. Good thing we haven't found any hard dirt to dig in. All sand. Working on a movie. He does have a couple pieces of spectacle buckle, so this is an early sight. Be out. Your machine's too far away. I know. Oh, yeah. Come on. What's that? What is, is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? Looks like a ring. Oh, I know what that I is. Know what is <laughs> I think. What do you think it is? I think it's a jacket off a bullet. I don't know if it is. Uh, what do you think it is? All right. Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> I'll you were going to tell me. All right, no. well, see you later. Bye. Jamie, all the way across the field. This is what we do. What do you think? Should we, should we tag team Jamie? Absolutely. Put a bunch of heat on him? <sighs> I think he's got a coin. And my eyes are terrible, so. Small scent. You may put some meat on it. Oh, it is an engine. Yay! Yay! It's an episode. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. 1884. 84, nice. huh? Yep, same year Jamie was born, actually. Yeah, it was two years, two years after, actually. <laughs> it's 1804. No, it's not. I know. <laughs> awesome. Two clowns sitting in the middle of a field. Oh! 
copper coin. <laughs> a little huddle over here? Yeah, I can't help it. Come on, give me a one wiper. You want me to touch yeah, it? Yeah, man. You got copper? Ooh. You gotta let the... Is it a gear? Oh, is it a gear? Hopefully, yeah, sure hopefully, is. hopefully, is it hopefully a it's, Hopefully it's a coin that they altered. Yeah, that's that altered. Cool. I hope so. That's an altered coin. Uh, I see like a shank mark or something. It might be a gear. I don't know. Hopefully it's a coin turned into a gear. I've never actually seen one of those in real life. I've seen them posted on Face page. Is it a is I'm it a rowel off a spur? If it's a rowel that they, they yeah, it's it's, it's kind of big to be a coin, but they did have some big silly coins back then. Oh, they did. Yes, they did. They did. <laughs> yeah, that's a rowel, dude. That, that's even cooler. Not a real, a rowel. A rowel, not a real. It's Raoul. A dirty what? Randy. <laughs> dirty Randy with a rowel. <laughs> Yeah. There's so much pressure involved now. No pressure, no pressure. 89 and 90 now. Those high 70s for me. Alright. Everything's high on the juice. Yeah. Depends on the frequency you're running to. You got it out? It might be small. Small silver. Oh, the moment of truth. <laughs> weedy! Don't. Don't you be a weedy! Worst pinpointer in the world. Oh. Show yourself. Oh. It's smaller than a coin. Don't you be a oh, rivet. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. The pressure was too much. <laughs> you know what to say about pressure? What in the world? You know what it looks like? <sighs> Is it a plate? What is Or a that? pocket watch. It's not big, a pocket watch. pocket watch, man. I thought it was a rest plate. <laughs> I mean, it was literally laying on top of the ground. Is and that it's, lead back, isn't it? It's lead back. Maybe a pendulum off a clock? Could be. That makes sense with the top of it being broke off like it. <sighs> See the little chip in the top? Yeah. I bet that thing rang your ears off. Oh my gosh. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Man. All right. Did you say jorts? Are you, are you talking about jean shorts? <laughs> short, short jean shorts. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? Is it a button? No. These round things are killing me. Oh. All right. Not even sure what you're gonna say. We're planning Ralph's uh, new flip flop attire. We're thinking about short, short jean shorts. You know, so short that the pocket comes out. With knee socks. Knee socks and flip flops. If you guys think that's a good look for Ralph, put it down in the comments and we'll see if we can make that happen. No t shirt and rainbow suspenders. Ooh. <laughs> it's gotten bad. Jamie says he has another coin. What do I need to look, Jamie? Oh my gosh. Dude, that that's bigger. Is it a two cent piece? No, nope, it's an Indian. No, oh, it is, isn't it? It looks bigger. Turn it over. And oh it's a flying eagle, oh, man! Oh nice! Oh Sweet. man. Boom. First one probably, pro probably a lot better shape. Flying than Eagle. Pop that out of the ground. Do you heart and clover me? Just the clover, not so much the heart. That's like lucky love or something? I don't know, but it's neat. <laughs> All right, so uh, Kurt is working the field over there a little bit more. He's bound to determine to get that silver. Um, it's looking like it's gonna start raining, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna help Cliff with this pit. We're gonna try to open it up the proper way, sift as we go, and give him some direction to kind of help him get his bearings when he comes back to work on it. So it's gonna start raining, we're gonna put up the pop-ups, and we're actually gonna be able to extend our digging day for another, hopefully four or five hours. Um, so let's get right after that.
This is the stuff we're looking for right here. That is a Westerwald jug. You know what Westerwald is? Westerwald is like this big mug and it had a checkered pattern. It was blue cobalt. Super cool. And some of them had big GRs on it. So, yep, we're going to do it right now. Let's get it. So, Cliff, tell me what, um, <clears throat> tell me what you've gotten out of this pit so far. You worked this section here. Done this one. And uh, pipe stems, pipe bowls, buttons, um, um, knife blade. Knife blade, so like utility stuff from the period. So, and there was a entire skeleton of a hog in that backside where, where, where I'm standing now. Where it had been eaten, or where it was just it was just the outline of the skeleton completely intact in that wall. Wow. So, and yeah, have you ever dug a pit like this before? First one. First well, one. I did dig one at Kelly's Fort. Okay. But Civil War and Colonial, completely different. Yeah, two different things. Yep. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to connect where Cliff worked before. And then we're going to open this side up. And we're going to try to attempt to see where everything went. Uh, we've got the sifter. We've got some tarps to make it easier to remove. And look at this. We even got some pop-ups up. So, we can... Uh, can work in this, hopefully stay dry, and uh, find some good stuff. All right, Jamie just pulled the first relic. So he's right on top of the use layer. What we're gonna try to do is cut this down so that we can work this by hand all the way back. <clears throat> and he's just got the first true artifact out of here, pipe bowl. All right, so they've gotten into the use layer, um, pulling out nails and a big bone going back that way. Big pieces of bone. Uh, and when you get to this kind of layer, you just have to go slow, take your time. Look, what, is that a pipe bowl piece? What is that? Yep. Yeah, because you'll even miss the small stuff like that. <laughs> nice pipe bowl. Is that Ralph? Nice. So now it's been butchered. You see where it's been cut. Ralph just rolled a good one out. Oh yeah, man. It's a nice bowl. Sure hope Kurt finds something. Mostly complete. Man, it's got a cool color to it. It does. It's pretty cool man. Blades still on the outside of it. Mm -hmm. Been burned on, probably, huh? Probably at least inside, wouldn't you think? At least. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie just popped a complete pipe bowl. Dude, that's nice, man. Cliff gets the smallest piece of stem I've ever, I've ever seen. seen in my life. <laughs> man, that is awesome. No mark? I don't know if it's marked or not. Young, let's go look at it. Cool. I'm going to use this one later. <laughs> All right, Matt's in the corner, and he's got looks like some kind of plate dish. Not plate, not a Civil War plate, but dish. Yeah, something. Uh, definitely interesting. And it is, Cliff. It is right beside. Right where I stopped. Yeah, right where you stopped. <laughs> Uh, that's the base of that mug. It's yeah. a Westerwall mug. That's exactly what that is. That's the base of uh, the big blue uh, checkered Westerwall we've been finding. So what we think is, so Cliff found on his first hole a very large skeleton of a um, like a pig, right? Yeah, it was a pig carcass. So what we think that this is actually was a cooking pit, and that's why there's so limited glass and that there is so much smoking stuff because probably they had themselves a nice big pig dinner, uh, broke a Western wall jug and smoked some tobacco around the what was left of the fire. So, and then they threw all the broken pieces in and filled it in. So really neat. That's also probably why we're not finding a whole lot of buttons. You know, you did say you found a couple, found a couple yeah. but that would also make a little more sense. So. Whatever it is, it's a cool pit. It certainly goes in a big circle because we're 
kind of connecting back towards where where Cliff finished. So there we go. Awesome. Well, let's get some focus. So oh man, that's nice. So uh, Ralph's beeping the <laughs> hole and. There was a nice shoe buckle. At least half of it. Maybe the other half looks is like in there. Looks like the other half. That looks fresh break to me. I don't think it's fresh break, but I think it's certainly a good possibility of the rest of it being in there. All right. All right. Well, Ralph's checking the uh, the hole. We've got a kind of crazy shape here because we drew an L around the area that was already dug out to the left that was soft. So now we've just got this here. Gonna keep double checking that. And overall, considerable amount of lines from what Cliff had before to what we've ended up finishing with. Uh, one whole pipe bowl, a couple pieces, and uh, I don't know, it was a lot of fun. Definitely worth it. Uh, you know, this takes work. But we talked about, you know, the fact that there is another one out here and if you get it right, you can find probably a lot of bottles or at least a lot of something else. <laughs> so we just need answers, <laughs> No, I saved a lot of people from that trauma. <sighs> so that didn't take too long, but it's, uh, it's all covered up. We'll throw some corn stalks on it and it'll look as good as this. Let's go find some targets. Yeah, Alright, maybe we'll go wrap this up. Uh, so here's kind of what we got out of the, the pit. Um, yeah, there's some iron, piles of iron, more piles of iron, but some pipe bowls. It'll be interesting to see that thing cleaned up, but we'll spray it off. Oh, it's a plastic head. There it is. Dude. Dude, I could not see that until I just did the side light. Nice, man. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! yeah you're filming. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you, you want to get some video of it? No, nah, man. We're, that's great. See? Oh, little, yeah. Little Lady Liberty facing left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Oh, dude. You knew they were here. It works for this one. <laughs> Well, the rain that they promised is coming down and uh, I just dug this brass turn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go help the guys clean up all of the, uh, the gear that we took back into the back of that field and uh, probably put it back in the truck. So this rain sucks. Ooh, it's a nice one. Dirty Randy and the boys, uh, they bounced on us, so. We're gonna talk to Cliff. Shame. And uh, see what we can do. He didn't know we uh, we started. So, uh, dirty Randy, filthy. Is it filthy Randy or dirty Randy? Dirty Randy. Dirty Randy. And uh, which is Ralph. And Jamie had to bounce out and go home. Um, it's closing in on dark, and we will uh, show you some of our finds in pictures. I think. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for Cliff for inviting us out. Thanks for Kurt for coming and hanging out. Thank you. We had a, uh, a pretty good day. Yeah, good day? <laughs> I had a blast. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cliff, you have a good day? Absolutely, man. I enjoyed having uh, you guys out here. Absolute pleasure, man. Absolutely. Thank you. So, we'll do it again. There's all the fun stuff from today. Cliff was kind enough to give me a pipe bowl. Um, some shoe buckles, spectacle buckles, a little heart with a clover, and uh, that's my stuff. And then there's Kurt. Kurt dug a handful of nice little uh, bucket balls, uh, some rivets, some flats, and he got a lock, a scutcheon plate. Good stuff.